Girl, girl, do you see this glow? <laughs> Am I the only one who see this? Like, this highlight is popping. I think I just found my favorite highlighter. Because this right here, mm, I'm feeling it. You understand? Do you see this glow? It's like those fake lashes, girl. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time meeting me, my name is Baromi. So thank you so much for being here. This makeup look inspiration comes from the Daisy and Kitty collection from Does Up Color. And if you guys know, they did a collab together. And it, I think it launched the 14th of August. I think, I think so. I'm not positive, but I think so. When I ordered the collection, the actual box it comes was uh, sold out, so I ended up buying a lot of the items individually, and each of them had a different tracking number, and I received them different dates. So I was thinking instead of doing an actual review and just film the look for you guys, and I thought this look was perfect for fall. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the bell family. I upload a video every week, and you don't want to miss any of my content. So if you guys want to know how to achieve this look, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. And as you guys can see, I did my eyebrow off camera and I also primed my face and also my eyes. I'll leave everything that I use in the description box. I will also leave the link of my eyebrow tutorial in the description box. So to start today's look, I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe 35P palette. And I'm so excited to use this palette, you guys, because... It's more like a fall palette. I don't really, I didn't really use it throughout the summertime. And to start today's look, I'm gonna be using this color right here, and I'm gonna use this color as a transition color. Now I'm gonna grab this purple color and focus this more on my crease. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab this darker purple and apply it also on my crease. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab this darker shade and also apply that on my crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this color and also apply that one on my crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this palette from Dose of Color from the Desi and Ketty collection. And I'm gonna be using this color right here called Shoes. So pretty. 
I'm going to be using the Maya Badescu Rose Water to apply this eyeshadow because it says to apply it wet. So I'm going to be applying this right on my eyelid. Oh, that's a lot of pigmentation. I love it. Do you guys see this? So much pigmentation. I love it. So gorgeous. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the wind is like blowing outside. But like in Hurricane Watch, I like really hope it's not bad. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Morphe M139 and just blend it out. And this has a lot of pigmentation. It has a ton of fallout too, but that's okay. It has a ton of pigmentation, which I love. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. And for today's look, I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And this one is in the shade NW50, like always. And I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just apply my foundation, you guys. Now I feel like I have glitter all over my face. And to highlight and contour my face, I'm gonna be using LA Girl Pro Concealers as always. And I'm going to be using the shade Fawn to highlight. And to contour, I'm going to be using the shade Mahogany. And now I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my face.
Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and also my eyeliner. And I'll promise I'll leave everything that I use in the description box. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this purple and apply it under my lash line. And now for my lips, I'm going to be using this lipstick from the Daisy and Katie collection also. And this one is in the shade Savage. I think I think that's how you say it. Savage. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. But, and also this NYX lip liner in the shade Copenhagen. And I'm going to go ahead and use this blush by NYX and it is called Crimson. And also from the Daisy and Kitty collection, I'll be using this highlight and it is called Frigo. And oh, look at the packaging, you guys. Everything from this collection is super pretty. Look how so glamorous, so luxury. I love it. Oh, it is so pretty, you guys. And to set my face, I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. So this is the look, you guys, and I think it turns out really pretty. And I honestly thought this tutorial was pretty easy. And it's a little dramatic for me because I don't really usually wear all this eyeshadow and things like that. And I thought this look was perfect for the fall and also is beautiful. And I think it's coming out again in September. I'm not like positive. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. Is it that that? I feel like I'm getting all this collection that's coming out so confusing like I'm confusing that one for the other I honestly don't know when it's coming out but I think it's in September don't quote me on that I'm not positive but anyways if you're planning on buying any of this product I honestly collection is like a win it is absolutely beautiful so I honestly think they're worth it the price and everything and I honestly think from the eyeshadow, everything is so pigmented, like the highlight, everything is so pretty, and this lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, before you go anywhere, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.